so I happen to notice that our Facebook page has uh, close to 600 followings already and uh, I don't think that's bad I think that's great but compared to uh, our Instagram and uh, YouTube YouTube channel yeah uh, let's say Instagram has uh, roughly uh, 200 followings that's like uh, three four times less followings and uh, here on YouTube uh, we got like uh, yeah, yeah so shy of uh, 300 subscribers and uh, I don't know why that is <laughs> If you're familiar with our Facebook page then you're probably familiar with our Instagram and uh, YouTube right so I think it's time that this channel gets the recognition it deserves and because we're the only one that we're the only ones that's doing it and uh, if you happen to stumble across or upon our YouTube channel make sure to subscribe if you can and uh, uh, I think uh, you should I mean why not right and uh, yeah share if you can and also uh, try not to forget our Instagram page all right so there that's all I wanted to say and uh, I'll see you on the next episode no just kidding cue intro Hey, what's up, Beers and Greasers alike? Welcome to another episode of Beers and Stuff. And in my hand, I've got some pointers. Yeah, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to see that. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're, we're back, and I, I'm back. Yeah, obviously, uh, to take a look at another product from El Supremo. Uh, I think this is like uh, uh, the second product which will be featuring this time, except the collaboration that I did. No, I mean the El Supremo and Entity collaboration, you know. Ah, you've probably seen it already. Yeah, I'm starting to trip on my words already. We're not even halfway there yet. So anyway, El Supremo's Illustrado is uh, El Supremo's very first uh, pomade. Yeah, it, it was, uh, it was, it used to be an oil-based pomade way back 2018. And then Ed of El Supremo, of course, uh, decided that it wasn't um, as convenient enough to use. So, uh, came 2019, he decided to convert it into an unorthodox water-based pomade. So that it'll be easier to wash out or wash off. We're keeping the same characteristics as the uh, predecessor. Yeah. Uh, the oil-based uh, variant you know and the good thing it did pull through yeah it worked and also with the same hold which is uh, medium to firm and the hold is firmer uh, indoors or not in direct sunlight and with this one Illustrado has a high castor oil content which also helps nourish the hair and uh, also neem oil let's not forget about that it's the same as uh, with Shira, right? I've also mentioned that there in the in that video. Yeah, so neem oil uh, have anti-aging properties, and uh, it also helps uh, protect the skin from damage due to uh, UV rays. And Illustrado is the only variant in their flagship pomade line that has a shine, a medium shine. But it still depends on how much product you use, right? Uh, the more you use it, the more scoops you, 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 you use or you take or you apply, the shinier it gets, I suppose. And also, according to Ed of El Supremo, the product is much preferable to use for uh, slick back hairstyles and uh, classic looks. And now let's talk about the scent. It's a signature inspired scent. And uh, you know how I feel about those yeah it's not that I don't like it it's just that I don't prefer it on my pomades and just like what I keep saying over and over again in my uh, earlier videos or like most of them I prefer it or I like it much more uh, custom to me having custom scents on my pomades uh, is much more appealing Anyhow, it's a Dunhill Fresh inspired scent, which is also one of uh, the brewer's uh, favorite uh, scents, perfume scents, yeah? And um, 
he incorporated it into his uh, pomades which i think is also very cool don't get me wrong mm, to describe the scent uh, top notes we've got some lavender basil and mint and mid notes of mimosa violet and freesia then base notes of amber patchouli and cedar so to put it into perspective, uh, Dunhill Fresh has a woody fragrance for men. So if you're into the ta Now taking a look inside, it's yellow orange in color but on a lighter side. Also looks soft and creamy, sort of a buttercream kind of consistency. While scooping it out is very smooth, no effort needed, much like a no-brainer. It's enjoyable, so to speak, and on the palm, spreading it is such a breeze. It breaks down very easy. It has a very light texture. Don't need to heat it up too much. It has that lotion-like texture. I didn't feel any tackiness, maybe just a slight greasiness or some slickness. And the more you spread it in your palms, the easier it gets. And it also leaves you with that nice glossy finish. And of course, who would want to miss this? Part of the reason why we're here is because of the application and styling. So uh, what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and watch this. Here we go! What we have here is freshly washed damp hair just the way I like it. Or in this case, I have no choice because it just takes too long for me to towel dry my hair. And as you can see in my hand, a blow dryer and a brand new one as well. And I'll use it. I'm not afraid to use it. I'm not gonna deprive myself of that. I've always wanted one for myself. But if you don't have a blow dryer, it's okay. Just work with what you have. But first of all, I'm gonna apply this heat protectant spray. It came with a blow dryer, yeah. It would be a waste not to use it. Okay, alright, so a few spritz here and there depending on your hair density, length, whatever, etc. Can't remember how many pumps that was, so there. Now I'm gonna start blow drying myself, I mean my hair, yeah, mm -hmm. sorry about that. No fancy stuff. And that's part of the reason why I took off the nozzle, it's because I just wanna dry my hair and that's it. Now there, the hair is dry, dry as toot. Now the moment we've been waiting for is applying the product, so first scoop. Very nice and shiny, yeah, just spreading around. Starting from the back to the front. Just getting there nice and even. Getting my fingers in there with no problem. Now on to the second scoop, same thing. Now all over from root to the tip and to the side and all around. And for the third, it's very slick now. Barely any tug and pull as you can see. Same thing with the first and the second scoop. And for our fourth scoop. What? Wait. Four scoops? I'll tell you all about it later then. And now for the combing part. It also helps spread the product evenly. And still as you can see there is barely any tugs and pulls. Which is one of the brand's biggest asset. And see how the product holds onto the hair like that? That slickness makes it easy to work with. And to give the product justice, we'll go with a classic side part pompadour. Give the product the attention it deserves. And it's very light on the hair and on the head. Nice amount of hold and control. And finish with that medium shine and voila! And there you go, how do you like that demo? And uh, yeah, it's the first time that I used the product with four scoops. Four scoops because uh, um, yeah. Uh, wait a second. So look right here how much product I've already used and uh, this is the only time that I've <laughs> you know used four scoops with this one and uh, now that I've realized yeah four scoops really works on my hair as you can see. 
So I'm just gonna go right at it. It's not my most favorite of the four, you know? Yeah, we still have two more left. And probably one more, Kush. So let's go right at it. What I like about the product, it's very lightweight, even though with the four scoops, it doesn't weigh down your hair. It has the right amount of hold and uh, the right amount of control. Uh, I also like the shine that it gives off. The scent, as I've said, it's not my favorite really, you know, uh, signature inspired scents, but then it works in some way. Also, the best thing about it is it's very easy to work with. Uh, the, uh, the the scoop, the spreadability, the application, the, <laughs> the combing part especially, you know, and the, the, the styling. Uh, it, it, it's very easy, you know, it's very user friendly, so to say. Well, moving on, uh, some of the things that I don't like about the product. Well, starting off with the labeling, not that I don't like it, it's just that uh, I don't find it uh, attractive or appealing or it doesn't catch my eye at first glance. It's, it's just like, uh, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, there's, uh, there's some things that can be done with it, you know, and I heard there's a rebranding going on. But we'll see about that and uh, hoping to see more uh, innovations and uh, product releases and uh, whatnot from uh, El Supremo. And also one more thing, uh, Illustrado though uh, offers great restylability and uh, things like that. Uh, but once I touch my hair, well it's been sitting around for uh, more or less 9 hours now so there's your endurance you know. Uh, indoor type setting. Somehow there's a little bit of uh, a clump of hair that's breaking apart on this side of my hair. Well, my hair is kind of heavy and thick, so there you go. That's on, I think, the 5 hour mark or 6 hour mark, so I just kind of fix it just to put it right back in its place. So there you go, as I was saying, uh, once I start restyling my hair. Yeah, once I start uh, moving or moving it around or anything like that, I start to lose uh, the control, uh, drop significant amount of volume, and uh, the shine. It doesn't really matter if it's sh still shiny or it loses its shine in some way. But then the only important thing for me is uh, control and uh, uh, the hold. So there's my likes and dislikes and. Uh, uh, moving on, yes, uh, <laughs> there I've already mentioned it, the endurance, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty good in, in indoor type setting, but I, I I don't usually go out under the sun, you know, direct sunlight out and about in the field, so I only do reviews based on what I actually do on a day-to-day -day basis, so, and uh, I think it works best uh, with the... Uh, <laughs> uh, folks with straight hairs or uh, even women you know uh, to tame those flyaways and uh, things like that yeah my uh, the sheer up you know if you've seen that one my wife stole that <laughs> I don't have it anymore with me yeah it's it's so gone <laughs> well what, what was that <laughs> oh yeah she took it <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? You gave it to me. You yeah. You serve a toot. <laughs> I gave it to her. <laughs> and also for the ladies out there who you know might get lost <laughs> in in YouTube sometimes, you know, uh, yeah, surfing and all that. If you happen to stumble across this video or whatnot, maybe you should consider using pomades, uh, things like that, uh, such as this, Illustrado, if you're uh, having difficulty taming your uh, flyaways and whatnot, yeah, this would really help you in, uh, you know, some way, considering the fact that my shirab is gone. And of course, washability, uh, wash out, rinse off, uh, rinse out, yeah, since it's an or unorthodox water-based product. Water will uh, remove most likely of the product like uh, let's say 80-85% and uh, with a round of shampoo I think uh, you're good to go but in my case I usually 
I go with uh, two rounds and a uh, conditioner. Yep, because with how how thick my hair is, uh, one round of shampoo isn't enough. I still uh, feel a little bit of a thickness on my hair uh, with the product and. Uh, so in conclusion, based on my own personal experience, I think Illustrado is a very straightforward type of uh, hair styling product. If you want a uh, uh, hair styling product or a pomade, it gives you uh, an immediate hold uh, with a uh, right amount of control, uh, a little bit of shine and uh, that great uh, perfume inspired scent. So I think Illustrado also works best uh, with straight hairs. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's thick or thin as long as as uh, you use the right amount of scoop so it, it doesn't weigh down on your hair but I don't think it will because it's a very lightweight product even though uh, as you can see uh, that's four scoops but in my case I can't compromise on either hold or control. So that sums up my review of uh, El Supremo's Illustrado and uh, I think I did a pretty good job and uh, I think I've covered most of it anyway so if you think that I left out or I forgot something something I didn't mention uh, just let me know in the comment section down below alright and uh, while you're doing that or before you do that make sure you leave me a thumbs up yeah that'd be great and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here or if you just keep on passing by my channel or one of my videos and uh, you don't subscribe come on man uh you're you know th th that'd be great you know it's it's very big help so with that said also turn on that uh, uh notification bell for the freshest videos every time i get to upload a new one but before you go why don't you check out the description box down below to save 10 percent on some pomades and i will also put up a link of uh, El Supremo social so you can check out their full line of products and also uh, try out some pomades and uh, some limited edition of some sort and that's it for today guys and I'll see you in the next episode <laughs> and once again you're watching the most awesome amazing by Tasik Tasik YouTube channel to date I'm Luigi and you're watching bits and stuff <laughs>